Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete a recovery partition that doesn't really want to be deleted. So let's get to it. So normally you do changes to the partitions from computer management, disk manager. I'm expecting you already are in computer management and you just right click on this thing and it's not giving you what we are getting here for example because this is a recovery partition and it's protected if you are not here just search for computer management and you simply click on it and it will bring you here then disk management and we are here but again, this will not help us in this case. I could delete a partition was here and one here. I could delete them. I want to create a, a big partition for all this uh, space on a single drive. But with this in the middle, I cannot do that. Yes, obviously I can use other softwares to do this, but I want to use what's built into Windows. So for this search, just type CMD and right click on command prompt run as administrator click on yes uh, a screen appeared that you couldn't see obs doesn't see it just click on yes and it will bring you here so here uh, let's go to disk part enter so now we can list uh, the disk enter and you can see we have three disks and having this in the uh, background helps us understand what disk we want to do modifications on. Disk 0. We are not touching disk 2 for sure because it's uh, the Windows disk. Disk 1 is already fully empty so I can create whatever partitions on it. But disk 0 has this partition right in the middle. So select disk 0 and we can uh, say again list uh, disk and you can see an asterisk in here so that is selected now let's say list partitions and as you can see here we have just that partition recovery the annoying one that we can uh, not get rid of so at this point let uh, let us try to check that we are on the correct uh, partition so we can go with detailed partitions uh, there is no partition selected. Sorry about that. Select partition 3 because this is partition number 3 from disk 0. Enter. And now details partition. Volume 0 healthy hidden. Yep. This is our partition right here. 1 gigabyte. We can see it here, one gigabyte. So for sure we are where we need to be. And now we have it selected. So we can simply use delete partition. Oh, so we need, it cannot directly delete it like this we need to set a parameter to force delete it. Okay, so I wasn't expecting it not to let me delete it even from this partition. So I went and did a bit of digging. I will put the link in the description of the video. It explains all the commands in here and how you can uh, use them. So it's quite nice. I will try with this with override command. 
So let's see if that uh, allows us to override that problem. So delete partition. Where is uh, the bracket? I have no idea how you spell that. So let me check. Over. Overwrite. Eh, makes sense. I think I'm a moron, so I'm sorry about that. Now it worked. <laughs> I copied it like an idiot with the brackets, but the brackets were just um, to show us... Uh, where are they? Higher? Yeah, just to show us the possible um, variants of, uh, of, the, of this syntax. So yes, you do not use the brackets. More on me. Sorry about that. I'm a bit rusty in uh, writing commands these days. Anyway, so let us check. Partition is Gansky. So the most important thing, uh, where is it? Right here. This link in the description, which will uh, show you all the available comments in here and how you can use them and get rid of that pesky partition right in the middle and now I can create a simple volume with the total space of this disk allocated to it. So that's about it for this video, hope it helps you, in which case please give it a like, check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one, bye.